entitle this particular segment, you know, like the song, Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. Who can forget that, of course? We're talking, though, about the former royal known as Meghan Markle and her alleged close friendship to our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. Apparently, according to Meghan's team, she has regrets. Really? Let me explain. Morning, good to see you. Thank you so much as ever for your time today. Yes, we're still basking in a little bit of late summer stuff, so it's not too bad, is it? Whatever you're doing, I hope you've had a terrific day. If you're going to bed or indeed if your day's starting, hope it goes really well for you. It's always important to wish each other well on whatever you're doing in that day, whether it's a laid back day, you're not doing too much, maybe you're relaxing. I can see, yes. This is the beauty of this magnifying camera, you know. I know, can you imagine if you could see each other? Do you remember the uh, thing about the video phone in the late 80s when it came out? People were screaming, weren't they? They kind of wondered if you could actually pick up the phone and see them without your face on, your curlers in. Well, that's just me. And <laughs> back as ever though to your royal story of the day. Big story this circulating in and around royal circles. This is truly all about Meghan Markle and her very short demise as many people realise inside you know royal courtier walls, palace walls, that sort of stuff and apparently I have to well numerous things now. Do you remember recently in fact on the CBS thing where she said she'd only scratch the surface of her problems you know you think really? Seemed to me like you picked them apart we'd never stopped hearing from you you know I love the fact that she goes on about finding her voice she never shuts up that's the problem I mean if she'd remain quiet and demure a little bit like Catherine who only spoke when she had something good to say you know positive all that sort of stuff people might have made more interest take more interest including our late and wonderful monarch Queen Elizabeth you see the story goes as I say that Meghan is regretful about well uh, time inside the monarchy and all that sort of stuff actually this was published in a very little red magazine now over here in the United Kingdom called Grazia but it's interesting because I do know that certain people from their particular camp like to make sure they get their story out over in the United States of course it's People magazine moving forward over here it's Selective Fuse even though of course he didn't want to speak to the British media and recently banned them on that fake Colombian royal tour but what's interesting is this they're basically saying Meghan had some regrets the regrets that Meghan had are these and they're quite simple in fact and it's well known with inside palace walls and more importantly the team that Meghan had around her at the time you know the ones that are now so traumatized that they've been signed NDAs and not allowed to come forward and talk about the alleged bullying those people you see, the bottom line was Meghan felt very angry, annoyed and upset with the monarch because she couldn't get near her. And this reasoning really was in her logical mind, I have to point out, was the fact that she felt she had the ideal, you know, plan, if you like, to help the monarchy move into a modern age. Something, allegedly, that even the Prince Harry felt was a good idea and was very keen to get going. Now, you may say, oh, no, 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 but no, this was truly the fact. The bottom line is, you see, Meghan felt that if she'd have got some quality time, maybe even along with the then Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, who now is, of course, our wonderful king, or indeed just a short period of time with Her Majesty the Queen, she could have helped the Queen understand exactly what was required from a modernised British monarchy in the 21st century. Now, apparently, those are her regrets as ever we have to say allegedly but given the fact that she's well not been so successful with her own project so far like the podcast and the ongoing battle for American Riviera Orchard really was the Queen wise to sidestep any problems or any chats with the former cable TV actress I'll leave it up to you to be respectful please like and share Neil Sean in the very heart of London